so excited to welcome our newest full-time member to the News for Jack's team. Mark Brunel will be joining us as a sports analyst and insider. Many of you, almost all of you, know him as the Jaguars' former star quarterback. He's going to join the station in his new capacity beginning June the 1st. While at the same time, he is continuing as head football coach at Episcopal School of Jacksonville. So, Mark, welcome. This is a great moment for us. You've been working with Channel 4 for a couple of years right? now, providing yep. commentary. But now you're officially part of the team. I'm a uh, uh, sports anchor now. Mm -hmm. How about that? They, they you know, I saw, I saw you your... Card. I have a key card now. <laughs> I don't have to, you know, wait for someone to let me in. <laughs> Actually, that was pretty cool this morning. It's I got the, the, the fob, the you know. No, no, I haven't moved <laughs> to the back <laughs> lot Someday yet. We'll show you. But uh, I saw your tweet uh, yesterday. Yeah. And it said that I'm um, a sports reporter and analyst like and a lot an of insider. Jobs. I'm like, oh my goodness. It's a lot of so, jobs. A lot of pressure, Nikki. <laughs> a lot of pressure. I'm excited about it. it. Uh, like, you, like you mentioned, I've been with the station for a couple years. Uh, last year doing the uh, Monday morning quarterback mm -hmm. in here. We worked together on that. And then, of course, the, the Mark Brunel show that Cole Pepper and I uh, hosted together. So I've been part of the family for a while. I think this is uh, you know, my role will be expanded. And I'm looking forward to it. It'll be a new challenge. Um, so uh, it, it'll be fun. I'm surrounded by a good team. And when I was surrounded by a good team as, a, as an NFL quarterback, I, I did pretty well. So I feel good going in. So let's talk about that. First of all, we have to point out to all of the parents, even though I said it, you're continuing your role <laughs> yes. as head as coach, coach at Episcopal. Absolutely. So you're and not uh, stepping down from that. So no, you're not at all. I amend your schedule around that. I right? absolutely love coaching at the Episcopal School of Jacksonville. I've been there five seasons, going into our sixth now. And it's a good community. I've had a son graduate from there. I've got a, uh, a young man who's a sophomore there, my youngest son, Luke. At my wife coaches track and cross country. So we're a part of the Episcopal family and plan on uh, continuing in that. Uh, it's a great job. The opportunity to make a difference in the lives of high school students, uh, that is very rewarding uh, to me. And uh, so I, I'm thankful to Channel 4 for the opportunity to be able to do both. I'm going to be a busy man, but uh, new challenges lie ahead, but I'm, I'm ready to embrace them. And I know that that job certainly anchors you here, and of course this does as well, but you know, yesterday I was posting about you joining our team, you know, right. on a more full-time basis, and I got a lot of, uh, just a ton of great comments, and one guy was like, oh, he's going to come on, and you know, he's going to wind up in the big time, and I'm like, you know, you've already <laughs> been on ESPN, you already did that. I did. And, and that's the thing, is that you really wanted to come back here and be local. I, I love this community. We've been here since 95. Now, we went and played for different teams, Redskins, Jets, uh, Saints. But we always kept one foot here. Mm -hmm. uh, this has been home since we moved here. My wife and I absolutely love uh, the Jacksonville area. We love the people. And uh, we have no plans to go to a bigger market or another city. Uh, this is home. A lot of friends here. And uh, it's just, as you, as you both know, it's a wonderful place to, to live. Mm -hmm. So you told me about seven cities that you guys yeah. live, 20 moves. That's a busy life, and that's, I guess, the life of an NFL player. It's the life of an NFL player. Um, I played 19 years. Uh, you do not get to stay at one place for 19 seasons. Uh, some guys have before in their careers, but uh, I was very fortunate. I landed in some very good spots, was with some very good teams. was able to go to New Orleans and win a Super Bowl with them. Uh, but Jacksonville, you know, playing for the Jaguars is... Uh, those are my greatest memories and the relationships that I made there, the friendships and um, uh, will last a lifetime. It was a great experience. And that's the thing. Having all that experience gives you a, a really um, inside perspective when you're covering the Jaguars. And I know you talked about how much fun it's going to be for you to really cover Blake Bortles. As sure, well. absolutely. And it's been fun watching him and seeing him develop. But uh, what gives me a unique perspective is that I was a young quarterback in Jacksonville and went through some growing pains and eventually got to the place where I felt comfortable and started winning some games. So I know what he's going through. I understand the pressures. I understand uh, the, the preparation and what it takes to, to uh, play at a high level. And so covering Blake and, 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 of course, being in the locker room for a long time, knowing how it works and with the coaches and, and your team. So a, a little different perspective. So hopefully I can offer some some uh, some insight. I am an insider now, so yeah, I, you know, I am true. an insider. That is so true. I'm, that's I'm true. That's true. Being an outsider. <laughs> that's exactly so, right. So, Mark, I've got to ask you the meat and potatoes here that so many people want to know. Yes. What do you think about the upcoming season? I mean, a lot of us are still devastated about getting that close to the Super Bowl. Expectations. Miles Jack wasn't down, by the way. That, that's right. I agree yeah. with that. Uh, expectations are very high, and they should be. The one thing I know is that every year is different. Every team is different. 
and you can take some success from the previous year like we had last year last year and that momentum could could launch you into 2018 and it will uh, but we've lost some key guys mercedes lewis paul Puzlesny, um core guys leader guys it's hard to replace guys like that doesn't mean that it can't happen uh, but we've got a good quarterback we've got a very good running back our offensive line is improved our defense, you know they're going to play at a very high level and be one of the top, probably top five defenses uh, in the NFL. So I feel good about it like we all do. I'm anxious to get, get it started as the players are. They're working in OTAs right now and just working to get better in preparation for the season. Good things. Predictions, I'm not going to make predictions, but uh, this certainly is a playoff team that has the opportunity to go all the way. It'll be fun to watch. Yeah, and you know, I know a lot of people are really excited to have your insight in, You know, now as really a part of our daily newscasts. Mm -hmm. But I got to tell you, my phone is, I don't mean to make you blush, but my phone oh. is lighting up. I don't know that, I mean, I don't know that we've ever had as many women watch sports that are about to because, do you see these texts over here I from my girlfriends? I saw them and I had to... Keep look, don't look at them all because some of those need to be. Talking sports right here. Let's just talk sports. I, I got a text from a girl in Atlanta oh, it this morning. It doesn't so. hurt our ratings, Mark. That's all I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Whatever it takes. It's all about the ratings. That's what I'm learning. We got to raise. I'm trying to steer Here's... it. I knew that I wouldn't exist during this interview, didn't <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Finally, Mark, few people know Tom Coughlin in this city like you. Mm -hmm. Right. Very true. You're an original Tom Coughlin boy. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have seen him through the good, the bad, and the ugly. Sure. What do you think about the future with him uh, as he tries to transform this team along with the coaching staff? Let me tell you that about uh, Tom Coughlin, uh, this about Tom Coughlin. I am forever grateful to Tom. Um, he gave me the chance to be the quarterback here. Uh, I was up in Green Bay my first two years backing up Brett Favre, got very little playing time, and he took a chance on me. He brought me down here, traded for me, and I was his guy. Uh, he was patient with me, taught me a lot about football, uh, obviously... Uh, he has gone on to have a Hall of Fame career. Uh, there's no question. And if there's any guy to lead this organization, um, it's Tom Coughlin. His expertise, his, um, his knowledge, he just knows how it's supposed to be built. He knows what it's supposed to look like. And that's what he did with our team last year. Uh, immediate success. And uh, he's great for the community. And it's not just about football with Tom. He's a really good man. He's done a lot for, for uh, the community and will continue to do so. I can't say enough about him. Um, very good football coach and an even better person. And so with Tom at the helm, uh, good things are coming. We'll continue to, to, uh, to be here in, in Jacksonville. So I'm excited. He's a great man. He is a great man. Thank goodness he took that chance because we love mm -hmm. having you here. Thank you yeah, very much. Yeah. He does a lot in the community. He certainly does. Off the football field as well. Mark Brunell, thank you so much. Happy to have you. Mark, thank Part you. of our team, and it's full circle because... I'm born and raised in Jacksonville, All right. so I mean, I've been a Jags fan since day one, so it's really cool to be able to sit at it. the anchor desk with you, sir. Thank you so very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. Thanks, so Nikki. much. Appreciate it.